Have you ever stopped to think of things maybe not just as objects? Like a fire hydrant or a mailbox, anything really. Take like a traffic light, for instance. You know, it's got three separate lights, each with its own color. Maybe, have you ever thought to think that maybe these lights could represent something? Like the voice of God or the unction of the Holy Spirit? So just stay with me. You got like a green light first. You know, green means go. I know, it's really deep, but just stick with me. Think of it like when God sets up a situation so perfectly that it's like clockwork with everything working out. So then when you go to him and you ask him, God, what do I do in this situation? It's like he's just giving you a big flashing green light that says, go ahead and do it. Now that's green. It's just when God says, go ahead. But then you have a yellow light. Now that's a little different. It's like when you're in a situation and you've not necessarily sinned yet or fallen, but you're on the edge. Take for instance, like when a friend at school asks you to go to a party and you know there's gonna be things there that you can't resist. You know there's gonna be drinking, boys, girls, different things that could cause you to fall. And it's like, right when that friend asks you, something goes off in your mind that says, caution, slow down. It's like a yellow light when you're about to drive through. You see the yellow light, most of us don't stop and slow down. But you're supposed to, it's the purpose of a yellow light, is to tell you that a red's coming up. A situation where you could fall, a situation where you could be hurt, is coming. So slow down. That's a yellow light. You gotta learn to find the places and learn to hear God's voice to say no to a situation when you hear and feel that yellow light coming on. Now the next light you obviously know is a red light, which means stop. I know, another deep statement. But red light, that's the light you need to hear the most next to a yellow. It's when those situations where you had the opportunity with the yellow light, but you didn't listen. You just kept going. You didn't listen to the voice in the ear that said, stop, you're gonna hurt yourself. So many of us have had these type of situations in our lives where we've heard the voice of God saying, stop, stop. But we don't fear God, so we don't listen. You know, there's always a doorway when you hear that stop sign that says, you know, come in this doorway. This is your way out. This is your way to go. But we ignore it. We ignore stop sign after stop sign after stop sign. We ignore them. And that door keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller until there's no door anymore. And then you fall. And we have to learn. And we have to learn from our failures a lot of the time that we have to listen to the red lights in our life. Otherwise, we're never gonna make it as Christians. All in all, we just need to learn how to fear God. So now I hope whenever you pass a traffic light, you never think of it the same. You got your green light, means go. Your yellow means slow down. Your red means stop. We have to learn how to listen to the voice of God. Because if we don't learn how to listen to the voice of God and the lights flashing in our lives, we're going to get hurt. And it's not always just us that gets hurt. Other people can get hurt too.